Suppose we want to show that only children have an average higher cholesterol level than the national average. It is known that the mean cholesterol level for all Americans is 190 with a standard deviation of 15. 100 children are tested and their mean cholesterol level is 195. So we'd like to conduct a hypothesis test to determine if this is sufficient evidence to agree with this supposition that only children have a higher cholesterol level. So this is also going to be a t-test, one sample oops, of means. And so we're going to solve this problem using our TI calculator. So we're going to go in to our calculator. We're going to go to stat. We're going to select tests. Uh, now we, since we have a fairly large sample, we can conduct either a t-test or a z-test. Uh, I'm going to do both just so that we can compare the difference. Uh, we are, um, if we look at our original problem, we, it is a known standard deviation of 15. And so the z-test is appropriate here since we have the known standard deviation. But we'll, we'll do the other one just so we can look at the difference. Um, but we're going to build our, our hypothesis test from the stats that are given to us. We don't have the raw data. Our null hypothesis is going to be that the mean is equal to 190. That's the assumption for all Americans. And the alternative is going to be that the mean is greater than 190. We want specifically to know um, they have a ha average higher cholesterol. So that means greater than. So this is a one-tailed test. So our mu naught is going to be 190. Our standard deviation is given as 15. And again, for the z-test, they'll ask you for the population standard deviation, which is what we're given. Our mean of our sample is 195, and the sample size is 100. And we are doing a greater than test, and we're also going to draw it first just to look at the picture. And the z-value we're getting is 3.333, which is 1, 2, 3. This is just out here at the edge of the screen. This is a very small portion of the graph. And you can see the p-value here. 4e to the negative 4 is three decimal places and then the 4. So this is a very small probability p-value. So if we select Calculate instead, Leave all of our settings the same. It will repeat for us, and it will give us a slightly more specific p-value. But again, this e to the negative 4 is very important. 4.29 is not a probability value. 4.29 times 10 to the negative 4 is a probability value. Now, I said what we would try to do is we would look at this, the t-test for a sample size this large even if we were working from the raw data, uh, there would be very little difference. We can put in our standard deviation value here and then go to calculate. And again, our p-value, it's slightly higher, but it's still within an order of magnitude. It's still very, very small. And our t-test, you can see, is exactly the same since we use the same values. Now, what can we conclude then from our calculation? The p-value is much less than the significance level. Even with a significance level as low as 0 0.01, we still reject the null 
and we conclude there is sufficient evidence to believe that only children have a higher cholesterol level than the average American.